What's up, Block Fam? Headed into the garage. I just got a package in from Engine Hawk. So we're gonna do an unboxing. Dude, again? How do you know when I get these? Uh, I watch. Watch you. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy. Awkward. <laughs> so it's cool because Wes is part of the task force. Previously on the Engine Hawk unboxing video, we had prototype model jackets. So if you guys don't know what Engine Hawk is, it is a new apparel line started from Rurock. With last jackets, they were prototypes. So we ended up getting this one here, which I've been wearing like crazy. Absolutely love it. This is the Hawkeye UV. And then this one as well, which is the Knucklehead. This is more of the textile. And there were a couple little bits of feedback that we had on it regarding getting these prototypes. The one in the box here is the production model. So we're going to unbox this, check it out, see the details of it, and then we'll talk about it. Also also, we're doing a giveaway with Engine Hawk. So we're gonna be giving away any of their jackets that you guys want. The giveaway is gonna be through Instagram. So you guys be sure to head over to Instagram, check out the post, like it, tag a couple friends. The rules are gonna be on the post, but you guys basically have the chance to win one of these jackets, whatever your size, any of their jackets that you choose. Just roll intro and then we'll open it up. As per Blockhead Garage fashion, we are not allowed to use a normal box opener like one of these because y'all ain't cool with that. Since Wes is unboxing, go ahead and let him pick out the box opener from the box opener wall. Oh no, let's see. I think the chetty's good. This isn't overkill at all. <laughs> <laughs> DHL did kind of bust this box up a little bit, hence the repack tape. <laughs> so one of the big focuses with engine hawk is the entire experience unfortunately this part of the experience was taken away because of uh, dhl but this is supposed to be inside so whenever you do open it up it says engine hawk there and then the packing is just supposed to feel really premium so you've got logo here engine hawk was born to revolutionize the motorcycle industry and completely redefine what motorcycle apparel can be Welcome to Engine Hawk. Dang, it's nice. That packaging dough. Oh, that's like a damn. Pretty big. One of those drawstring backpacks. That was a very good sized drawstring backpack. It's like a cape. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually what they meant for it to be. It's you get a cape with your jacket order. His cape snagged on a missile gun. <laughs> cape caught in a jet turbine. Dyna guy, snag on takeoff, splash down, sucked into a vortex, knock it! You're now a superhero. <laughs> that is the knucklehead. Yeah. So we got a production model knucklehead. So that is one thing that they updated that I can see right off the bat, the chain. So instead of like it being a chain like the last one, it is now like motorcycle chain linkage. There you go, that's super cool. We're gonna go ahead and run through the Engine Hawk Knucklehead textile jacket here. Just to kind of give you guys some information, Engine Hawk was a brand built from a community of uh, riders in a Facebook group called Task Force Echo Hotel, which Wes is actually a part of. I think it was a group of about, what, 18,000? Yeah, a lot of people. And so basically what they did is they involved the community to help develop each product. And so with all the feedback from them, that group, they were able to make changes to develop new product ideas, such as this jacket, like the armored hoodie, similar to what like Red Rock has been able to achieve with their helmets, they take the uh, the user feedback and they make those changes. You know, this being a uh, Red Rock Atlas 2.0, and then they've got the 3.0, and just it's constantly upgraded and improved based on their customer feedback. The launch date for the knucklehead here is going to be April 27th, just after midnight UK time. It is a full 1CE certified SAS Tech Triple Flex armor, which we'll take a look at here in just a second. It's actually a really interesting type of armor, which they have in the elbows, shoulders, and in the back. If you guys are looking for a sizing chart, Wes here is gonna model it for us, but then you can also find a sizing chart on their website, which I will be sure to link down in the description below. The cost of this one is gonna be $329 USD. 
You can get next day delivery. And like I said, we're doing a giveaway of these jackets, basically like any jacket of your pick on our Instagram. So you guys be sure to go over to Instagram, check out that post and uh, just follow those steps to get entered into the free giveaway. Let's go ahead and open her up, I guess. Oh, buttons feel really quality. So double zipper on these guys, which basically allows like whenever you're sitting on a bike, you can zip up from the bottom, which pushes the fabric on the bottom out so it doesn't bunch up, kind of like on your stomach and your chest. It's actually incredibly useful. Basically like that, and then that'll go like over your legs instead of bunching up. It's a really nice feature to have. Uh, I didn't, I hadn't had a jacket with that beforehand, but I ended up doing a lot of riding with the, the Hawkeye UV, which has it as well, and incredibly, incredibly useful. So that's what the chain on the other one looked like there. Same interior, okay, cool. The zippers did change though, right? So these are the old zippers and the prototypes. These are the new zippers. They're, they're larger. Different texture to it too. Yeah. Like those are just standard zippers, these are. Yeah, it looks like, uh, yeah. One of those things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. The interior pockets on each, both left and right. Armor information. SAS Tech. One of the things you guys did have a question about in the last one was the armor. Take a peek. So yeah, this is the uh, the insert in the back, and it's not stiff. It's actually very malleable or flexible. Whenever you're wearing it, it actually doesn't feel like you have armor in the jacket, which is something that I really really like uh, because you're able to go like to restaurants or wherever you want with it and it looks like you're just wearing a normal jacket. I think with like the venting in it or the, the channels, like it allows it to breathe a bit more. So if you guys have ever ridden with a jacket that has like a solid piece of armor in the back, like you sweat, like you get a sweat spot around it. So it's nice that that's uh, kind of one of the thoughts and considerations. Let me just boop, right back in, Velcro's on, good to go. So you've got the same in the shoulders and elbows. You can go ahead and throw it on. And this is a, I think it's all the level one armor and they do offer or will offer level two after uh, release. I'm interested to see what that stuff looks like, how thick it is and how comfortable it is. How's it feel? Yeah. Pretty good. Slightly wide for me. Large would probably be like perfect. Length is good. So Wes is six foot four. One of the things that we talked about in the prototypes was uh, the arm length actually being good enough for him because I guess with being tall and having she noodle stops here. Yeah. <laughs> Even just trying to reach like you can barely see my wrist and that's where things often come like to normally without stretching. So right. that's a that's a huge plus for me at least. Zippers here are upgraded too. Old ones? New ones. Kind of tapered down, these taper out, give you a little bit better of a purchase grip on them. Yeah. How's the armor feel? Loose. It's nice. You can tell it's there. Yeah, so it goes from about here to there to here to there. On the elbows, it actually feels in the right spots. I mean, it goes from about there to here. About that wide, yeah. Does it feel restrictive at all in terms of motion? Can't even barely tell it's there. I actually feel like just the jacket itself bunching up here. Mm. feel that more than any of the armor at all especially the back one like it's not even there yeah you can't even see it yeah from here to here that starts there to mid back can't tell it's like that there's armor in it at all that's like i said that's one of the things i love about these jackets is that they're they're casual the branding isn't huge on them like it says engine hawk you know above the pocket there and then like on the inside but otherwise just a little logo on the yeah. back so it's just super subtle, which I'm a very big fan of. Well, we'll have to give it a test. Have you go ride in it. Let us know what you think. Continue it on an actual ride this time around so that we can give you guys kind of thoughts and feedback. Such a real biker. <laughs> All right, guys, so we've been riding for a little bit and uh, I'm on the Grom. Just going to pick up some sandwiches and uh, Wes is on Laurel's Iron 883 wearing the knucklehead. So he doesn't have as much fairing. Normally he rides a Ninja 650, but uh, he decided to ride this bike just so we could get a bit more of a, I don't know, impression of how it feels like on the road. So how do you feel with that bike? How do you feel with that jacket, rather? It's uh, it's pretty warm. I mean, it's uh, let's see, it's 84 outside right now. 
it's not very breathable. Uh, I don't know if it's just because it's brand new, hasn't been, you know, broken in, all the fibers opened up or whatnot, but it's pretty warm for textile, you know, it, I would expect it to be more breathable. It's still pretty comfortable. It was another thing I was thinking about uh, when, uh, you know, why I'm riding Laurel's bike and not mine, is the metal buttons on it. I feel like on a sport bike, you'd just be asking to scratch your tank if right. you ever got down into a tuck position, so. Right. Uh, that was another thing I was thinking about, and I was like, oh, I probably don't want to do that. Um, I didn't even not, think of that. Not the way out here, like, you know, pretending it's a track or anything. So what about yeah. in terms of, like, your uh, range of motion? Range of motion feels fine. And I got full function of, you know, my arms and everything. Range of motion feels pretty good. This is also a very, you know, neutral stance bike, too. So, again, not like on a sport bike or something where you would be bunched up and... Uh, trying to do stuff like that. Yeah, uh, it's more of like an upright. But when I do turn the bars and stuff, there's not really any bunching. Can't feel the pads at all anywhere on the shoulders, the elbows, even you know the back. The back doesn't feel any sweatier than with the armor in there. All in all, it's like the only thing so far is it's warm. I feel like in in the winter that'd be awesome. I'm a bit sweaty even though we were moving. It's just the airflow isn't there. So yeah you would think with the textile that it would be a little bit more breathable. Um, that is one of the things that I found with uh, between the knucklehead and the Hawkeye which is a leather jacket is I felt like the leather uh, Hawkeye was actually more breathable because of like the underside textile so you had leather on the top textile on the bottom that mesh which allowed it to breathe very well so that was surprising to me so if you guys are considering getting the uh, the knucklehead just as a heads up i would say it's probably more for like not warm weather riding because it's not as breathable as you would think for like a normal textile however it, it does feel like kind of like a waxed denim so like if you're looking for it like to be weatherproof possibly but i'm i'm not really sure we haven't had the time to be able to test it long enough uh, to give really good feedback on that if you guys are buying it for like maybe cold weather to like mild but if you're looking like warm weather riding like Wes was saying here in Florida it is currently 84 degrees and it is Florida so it's nice and humid that's just initial thoughts and feedback and he's riding on a bike that doesn't really have a fairing or anything so it's not really restrictive in terms of like wind hitting him otherwise feels quality range of motion seems to be pretty good be sure to double check the size charts to get your correct size it is quality the style is like on point I would wear this out anywhere basically it's clean and Enough. It looks classy enough that you could probably wear it pretty much everywhere except like a formal event. All right, we're gonna grab a sandwich, hit the sub shack real quick, be right back. That is a full bag of food. We can do an example of using the zippers with gloves on. <laughs> oh, yeah, how's it feel? Easy. So the zippers on the last one are a little smaller, the zippers on this one, a little gooder bigger more of a purchase whenever you're using gloves that's nice all right well that's first ride impressions but we'll be sure to uh wear these jackets for a while so i'm you need some help there <laughs> <laughs> so i think of the two uh i'm more of a fan of the hawkeye just because uh, so. of the fitment of it and then also um, the breathability especially like as we're getting into florida summer i don't know why you weren't just able to back it up like mine like <laughs> What's, you just you just really need to go to the gym and practice it's leg day, bro. It's those extra 300 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, you can't just do this with that thing, you know? Just like leaning over here. No, I want to make these turns as smooth as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Big old bike and gravel lot. Probably not the yeah. best thing to make any sudden movements. <laughs> yeah. We'll continue to put these jackets through their paces and, you know, do like a longer term review down the road. I'm sure uh, Engine Hawk is going to be doing, uh, you know, some new colors i've seen them posting up like a couple new colors and whatnot but yeah i'm stoked to be able to check these out you know do some unboxings and uh give you guys some insight into them so if you have any questions on them be sure to post down in the comments and let us know and we'll answer to the best of our knowledge based on our experience with jackets once again you guys be sure to go enter that giveaway that i've posted up on instagram we'll randomly draw a winner on the uh, date selected engine hawker Rear rock should be notifying you guys so Head on over to Instagram, Blockhead Moto, and get in on that. You guys be sure to go give Wes a follow as well, at Face Nectar. Big thanks once again to Wes for uh, helping me out with the video, being a model. Hope you guys enjoyed this one though. If you did, be sure to hit that like button for me. Help us hack that YouTube algorithm. If you're not subscribed, you want to see more moto content, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon as well. So it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, ride safe, stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one.